for mature audiences. That's all right. We've <laughs> seen Tamlin's ass. <laughs> oh, no. We're live on Thursday. Folks, it's Murder Hobo. Oh, Welcome Thursday aboard. Thursday. We are all happy. We're all thirsty. We're all happy. We're ready to give you guys a great show, a big show, a super show. Or not. It just depends on how I half-ass this thing. Welcome to Murder Hobo Inc. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy our cool stuff, go ahead and uh, get it. It's down there somewhere. If you want to chat with us in Discord, it's down there as well. Most importantly, if you want to join us either on a one-shot or on uh, the infamous talk show, M Hobo Inc., Twitter, Gmail, hit us up. We'll get you on there. Uh, this Friday or this Saturday for uh new uh, murder hobos uh Poor bastards. Well, one shot they're gonna be <laughs> third level uh yeah, but if they're I, all new they won't be uh initiated they won't be they, they, no, they won't, won't be initiated be but uh it'll it'll be less dark and uh i say that for one of our viewers who will be playing saturday night it will most likely be less dark and it is <gasps> urban uh so that'll be good thank you to pirate dog dice for giving us dice that uh caused me problems and thank you oddfishgames.com for making our game smell a whole lot better than i present it to be uh those are our sponsors let's get to our cast uh you know what we'll change it up this time uh normally behind the camera now in front of the camera and behind the camera assuming the audio is working uh carrie uh i'm carrie i'm playing a fourth level necromancer and i'll probably be slow on the uptake today because i had my first ever colonoscopy today and I am exhausted. Oh, no! <laughs> she is no longer full of shit. That's right. No. <laughs> and I got to do the two-day prep, so I didn't get to eat for two days. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> so I've been asleep all day. So You see yeah. what you got to look forward to, Caitlin, when you get older. Right. <laughs> or I just die before I get to that point. You, you know what, Caitlin? I'm going to tell you. For me, a couple years ago, that was the best rest I ever had. Because whatever shit they give you... <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, that is nice stuff. Remember how I was talking about the '80s effect? Yes, you know, with the and not, when they put the gas on you, <laughs> that's what if it you've was. Seen young guns uh, doing the peyote? That's what it's a lot like. But you wake up refreshed. What What do they call that in video editing? A dissolve? Basically, yes. that's what your vision is. It's a dissolve. Yeah. It is nice. So the lady put it in my IV, and I'm like, "Ow, that hurts." I'm like, "Is that the anesthetic?" She's like, "No, that's supposed to be the stuff that makes it numb." Here's the good stuff, and I went, "Okay, bye." <laughs> <laughs> Nice. So now she's hooked on drugs. Yeah. Boys and girls at home don't do drugs. David, <laughs> you're up next. Who are you playing and who are you? Okay, I am David, and I am usually here Thursday nights on Cacophony and our sometimes, well, most times, our talk show between the roles on Tuesday. Sometimes I'm, I get lucky and I get the one shot on Saturday. So. Not but, this Saturday because you are not new. Nope, nope, I not am not new. Not this day. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm not Carol. Okay, I don't have to be in everything. <laughs> oh, you know she watches this show. I'm about to get fucking hate mail. <laughs> That's exactly why I did I it. I do not always. Oh my, Carol is kidding. Okay, dude, don't bomb. We me. all tease her about that Jesus. anyway. Yeah, because so she doesn't even. You know what? That's Carol, not even a secret. David directly. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him to fuck off. Uh, last but certainly not least, uh, Zephyr Zadar. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that is Daphne. not Zephyr. That no. is Daphne. I am both the least in the age and in the height realm. <laughs> <laughs> but the most vicious. It's certainly the most vicious. Yeah, the most deadly. At five foot one, she'll fucking kill you, folks. Very <laughs> much. <laughs> And I, I think you might get the chance tonight. Tell us a little bit about your character, Caitlin. I am Daphne. I am a paladin tiefling. Tonight, we drink the blood of our enemies, and we will fill up this bottle with some more blood of the enemies. So let's see how it goes. All right. <laughs> a full khaki on the young one. Uh, <laughs> folks, if you missed the last episode, let me give you a quick recap. These felons... <laughs> are killing everything in cacophony. However, it's not our fault. The individuals they are killing are part of a syndicate 
which they have uncovered. Uh, however, some of the intangible characters that they have run into have also succumbed to injuries not by their hands. Last week, Sandra O, oh, the poisoner uh, potion uh, that gave it to Zadar, uh, met her end at the hands of one of the syndicate lieutenants. Uh, at the end of the episode, after tying two naked syndicate members into a compromising doggy style position outside in broad daylight, the <laughs> cops were called and have arrived to a bloodbath scene. However, Daphne and Mortimer J. Sneed, who was accompanying them, checked the area and Daphne has uncovered some papers that while not directly tying uh, the two together, there is enough paperwork there to surmise that DeLuca, the syndicate leader, might be uh, Zadar, uh, one of the councilmen. Uh, they have been uncovering this plot of a poison attempt an assassination, if you will, on one of the other council members. And now the information that Daphne has found, along with the help of Mortimer J. Sneed, dun, dun, instructor dun. from the Grand Academy, currently on sabbatical and cacophony, seem to point to uh, Councilman Zadar. Uh, no. boys I'm no. Zadar. Oh, Come on, right. old man. Z Zephyr Zoran. 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 That's it. Jeez. Zoran Zubak or whatever. You know, you'd think I'd have better notes. I do, but I just don't read them because I'm shooting from the hip. Because uh, I'm a little bit worried about drinking uh, the blood of the enemy. <laughs> you guys might run into somebody you did not expect to. So, that in mind, let us return to the scene of the crime. Uh, the blood is still oozing out of your latest victim. The two naked henchmen swear to God that it wasn't you guys that were responsible. And, of course, Gibble and Harris, a.k.a. Cacophony's version of Zadar. Uh, Crockett and Tubbs, Miami Vice, y'all. <laughs> are on the scene... With, coffee. with their Java. Those bastards. So we begin with uh, Daphne holding a stack of papers. Mortimer sitting in the chair of, uh, was it Lucky Luciano that you guys killed last? No, it was my boyfriend, Pretty Boy. Oh, Pretty Boy Floyd. That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, sitting in Pretty Boy's chair, spinning around because it's a rather nifty contraption. Uh, <laughs> so... Uh, Daphne, you have a stack of papers. Uh, Camille and Zadar, you are trying to talk your way yet again out of jail. I will go odd to Camille and Zadar, even Daphne. That's an eight. Daphne, we start tonight with you. You have a stack of papers here. It looks like missives uh, from Pretty Boy Floyd, Lucky Luciano, and Frankie Two Fingers. Uh, it appears to be written messages back and forth, uh, trying to pin this DeLuca person who is always in the shadows on Councilman Zubek. What do you want to do? No one's seen me with the papers yet? Only Mortimer has seen you with the papers. The other two are trying to not dig a hole today. <laughs> um, I mean... Can I read through the papers? Am I allowed to read through the papers? You certainly may. Go ahead and give me uh, an insight check, if you will, please. In the meantime, I'm cleaning the blood off my sequence and leather body armor. <laughs> yeah, you, who are you right now? I'm still Jessica. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> mm -hmm. And those of y'all who are wondering, Jessica Rabbit. <laughs> what was your role again? Six, not very insightful. Uh, you have accidentally dropped the papers and you are picking them up, but since they are not enumerated, uh, they are now in the wrong order. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Mortimer J. Sneed, I love this chair. Let's see how his con holds out. Oh, boy. He loves this chair. He's like a kid in the candy store. Nice. Uh, 
Daphne, as you uh, begin to shuffle the papers together, uh, you are checking the last line and the first line of each one, and you are trying to fit the pieces back together. We will flip over to Zadar and Camille, talking to medieval Crockett and Tubbs, who uh, enjoying their coffee. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> That's good coffee. <laughs> so, uh, why'd you kill this guy? Keeping in mind, the two naked henchmen have been untied by the other guards. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> well, you I mean, that we did it. Hmm. Right. No, no, because they they started confessing to everything as soon as they came in. The two naked dudes did confess that it was Pretty Boy Floyd. Mm-hmm. And I explained to Crockett and Tubbs that upon trying to find Sandra O. Oh, the we, dead lady right mm, there. Yes. With the uh, tiefling sized footprints moving around the office in her blood. <laughs> Got it. Do go on. You have us enraptured. Well, I mean... As soon as we arrived, we could hear the sounds of Pretty Boy, which the evidence is all over him, <laughs> although kind of mingled. Uh, <laughs> uh, he was beating the life out of Sandra O. Oh. So we were too late to stop it. Persuasion check. Okay. Ooh, 17 plus 6. I see. Uh, Camille, who's your friend here? Friend? Oh, Jessica. Yes. This is Jessica. She's a lovely lady that I know. Where is that idiot rock star at? Uh, he's off getting me some coffee. Oh. Just um, okay. Pretty Boy and I were an item briefly, and we had a bad falling out. You bring up two good points, but right now we're talking to Camille. Okay. <laughs> Camille. Yes. Yeah, so did they well, get a decaf today? Well, no, they are distracted by her assets. Oh, I see. Yes. If you asked who she was, that's who she is. <laughs> what is your side of the story here? Uh, same as hers. Try again. Same as hers. <laughs> Guards! <laughs> we came we heard what was going on it was too late to save her honestly mortimer what was with us the, the whole time give yeah. him your side of it uh d12 against me camille oh if i can find one of those <laughs> one <laughs> one reroll Eight. Eleven. Uh, Mortimer, uh, you can hear the chair stop spinning. Daphne, he moves around by you slowly. He also steps in the blood of Sandra O oh and proceeds to leave red footprints around. Uh, Daphne follows him out, still rearranging the paperwork. Uh, Mortimer walks out. He goes, uh, gendarmes, how may I assist you? Uh, they ask him who he is. <laughs> you guys all roll your eyes as he goes into a long uh, tirade about him being Mortimer J. Sneed, uh, an instructor at the Grand Academy, currently on sabbatical here in Cacophony, and currently finishing up uh, his uh, travel guide, uh, which will most likely soon be a bestseller because it includes a great deal of illustrations from the uh, art world, and uh, he has been utilizing local tech. Finally, they stop him. I was going to say, I just let him keep going. <laughs> and, the, and they're like, how do you know these individuals? Uh, he points out that uh, the changeling uh, and the other two ladies here have uh, been constant companions as we have traveled the width and breadth of the city of Cacophony, solving crimes, if you will. If only we had a van marked Mystery Machine uh, and a dog, we would be outstanding. Uh, he continues his long diatribe, and you can tell that Crockett and Tubbs are really getting annoyed. Uh one elbows the other and points down, noticing the blood-stained footprints 
by both tiefling and human uh, and noticed that Daphne is perusing a stack of papers. Uh, let's see which one is irritating. Even Harris looks at Daphne and says, what you got there, sweets? Just some good old chopped up trees. Because <laughs> <laughs> nobody likes trees anymore. So we got to chop them up and make them into little paper slats. Harris instantly realizes that he has made a mistake talking to you and your blood soaked <laughs> feet. Uh, with the two naked dudes holding their hands like they're getting ready for a free kick in soccer across their groin area, uh, <laughs> singing like birds. Uh, Harris and uh, Gibble decide to roll a D12 against who? Who wants to go against uh, the Crockett and Tubbs? I feel like in real life they're actually taking a die out too. They're like, who's going to roll against me? Ugh, three. Three. Uh -huh. Reroll. Eight. Four. <clears throat> you guys got refills you need to go get? You're in enough trouble already there, sweetheart. I'm just asking. Maybe you <laughs> just be quiet. And where's your friend with the refill for you? Huh? Oh. Hell, he's probably off, you know, courting some friendship right now. I don't know. He's not reliable. <laughs> uh, Crockett and Tubbs step away while the guardsmen look at you nervously, especially the tiefling who is covered in blood up to her ankles and Mortimer J. <laughs> Steed who has decided to sit down cross-legged, sticking his ass right in the middle of the blood Aww. and not paying attention. Uh, <laughs> I guess uh, they don't know how to cordon off a crime scene now, do they? Boy, I'm I could make a fortune cleaning up after these people. <laughs> it's it's still early in the uh, jurisprudence world. Uh, Gibble and Harris discuss the issue amongst themselves for a few minutes, and come to the conclusion. <coughs> Mint. No, thank you. No, please. <laughs> That's it. Piss them off. <laughs> uh, you four. We have decided are free to go. Wow. All right. These well, thank two, you, gentlemen. take them to jail. Uh, they, if you, if you, uh, uh, young voluptuous woman, if you would watch yourself around these two ladies, they tend to get themselves into a great deal of trouble. Uh, if you guys could stop being around the crime scenes, Maybe that would be helpful. Mm, I'll keep my mouth shut right now. There you go. Uh, if we need to talk to you, where may we find you? Uh, you will find us. Uh, you'll be able to reach us through the uh, Adventurers Guild. Fair enough. Uh, mm -hmm. I almost thought I'd have to send Dibble Thibbet to find you. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Dibble Thibbet, uh, you need it delivered? We'll thibble it. Uh, he is an odd fish. <laughs> he is. They release you from the crime scene and secure the eatery, which will most likely go up for auction. <laughs> uh, you guys Poor Alfredo's, man. That was the toast of, you know, cacophony. It, it, wa it was. Mm -hmm. uh, it is no more. Bigger problem, however... When you guys walk out, there is a substantial crowd. Substantial. Uh, everybody, perception check, please. Oh. 14. 7. Uh, 16. 19. You need to arrest her. You need to arrest her. A high-pitched voice of a man can be heard. Zadar, in your current uh, appearance, mm -hmm. you will not be noticed. However, you will recognize the voice. 
uh, as will Daphne. It is the owner of Stitch in Time who is pointing directly at Daphne. Arrest her! Arrest her! The guardsman look at you quizzically and ask if you have an answer for the dilemma. He's just upset that I wouldn't go on a date with him. She took my money! No, that's <laughs> lies. The, the guards do not seem to buy your uh, <coughs> romantic encounter. Does she story. look like she has money? She's got blood all over her. Yeah, look how poor I am. She, I'm had, she had blood all over her when she took my money with that guy that she was with. I only date women, so this is really concerning. What are you talking about, a guy? She's the lady that wore the flag and shook me down for money. She's in league with the syndicate, I tell you. The crowd. <laughs> One turns ugly. <laughs> Uh, boo! Kill him! Kill him all! Uh, apparently, the owner of Stitch in Time, Stitch, uh, is a vocal representative of the Merchants Guild, and he has just now fingered Daphne, so to speak, uh, at being an extortionist. But it wasn't Daphne. Can I just start crying and probably nobody likes King Flames? If you'll recall, uh, a couple weeks ago, Zidar in Billy Idol, or I'm sorry, in uh, Frankie, no, Lucky Luciano appearance, along with Daphne and her bloody LGBT flag. Well, uh, if I got my stuff back, back, I still have his money pouch. Yeah, but he doesn't need to know that. Sure, Jessica. I am probably mm -hmm. racist. Well, <laughs> <laughs> he's a racist against tieflings. No, yeah. I, I, just yeah, exactly. trouble. Uh, I, I step up and it's just like, uh, good sir, does this belong to you? We found this on the decedent on the inside. Eat it, boobs. I'm talking about that one over there. Okay, wow. but How if this money racist, pouch is not yours, too. then mm -hmm. I assume... It's going to be ours. It is a standard leather pouch, so mm -hmm. there is no... Uh, well, let's ask him, so how much were you missing? Do you know? Since you were D12 shaking against down? me. Oh yeah. <laughs> D12 against me, Camille. 12. 7. 140 gold pieces were taken from me in the shakedown. There's no way you even <laughs> own that much money. Look at you. I am a hard working individual and I cannot believe I am being defamed by this person. He's this, been feeling from person. all of you around. Just you hear that? He's stealing from all of you in this crowd watching. Daphne, give me a persuasion. I, I shake the, the bag in front of him. I go, you know, this feels like Nine. 140. It feels yeah. like 80 gold pieces, Zadar. Probably, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure there's 140 in there, Zadar? <laughs> well, it's only 80, but... <laughs> uh, Daphne, your uh, cries for him being the bad guy are met with jeers and sneers. He is a well-respected merchant in this area. A merchant who steals from the public. This is capitalism at its finest. I was about to say, have you seen his prices? Oh my gosh. Yeah. They are so marked up. Contributing to this, you should just steal from his store. Wow. Uh, <laughs> going out looting later, are we? Exactly. <laughs> no justice, no peace. <laughs> uh, capitalism now. The crowd really starts to turn ugly, and let's see if I can hit somebody with a tomato. Oh, that's nice. It's a two, so it's going for Camille. Wait, it, eat it. With a nat 20, no shit. <laughs> a tomato <clears throat> zips over Daphne's head and lowers the arc, hitting Camille in the face. Have Cammy roll against you to see if she's uh, dexterous enough to catch it before it hits her. It, it is a natural 20, and she's not a monk. Okay, oh, well, it. you know what that's going to mean. Whoever threw the yep. tomato hates money. It That's is time for Fog Cloud. I knew that one was, was coming. coming. <laughs> no. 
uh, Camille goes to her ever-present uh, winner. All right, guys, grab my cloak. Cloud. Fuck this shit. <laughs> Uh, let's see and here. Robots. And she gasses this area. <laughs> nice. So uh, you will be able to escape dun, 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 uh, through here if you would like. Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, if you do that, then you can go down here to the uh, Adventurers Guild if that is indeed your destination. Well, it would probably be a good idea to get the <coughs> yeah. out of here. <laughs> uh, screams and taunts are heard, but uh, no one breaks through the fog cloud to pursue you. So long, bitches. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, you guys should have a great time being uh, of the people. <laughs> uh, as you skitter away safely, you go down the street, you manage to get around behind the group who does not notice you because the fog cloud has completely enveloped them. Uh, for once or twice or three times, Camille's spell has accurately saved the day from you guys. As you run down the street, you head down to the Adventurers Guild. Uh, is that where you guys are headed? Mm-hmm. Uh, as you get there, uh, you notice, I, I will try and work on that, but that's a Chris thing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> as you get there, you notice the front door is open. Oh, Lord. Okay, Hello, so we cautiously... Is it safe to assume that Mortimer J. Sneed was with you? Well, I would hope so. Okay, fair enough. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, go ahead. What do you guys want to do? Uh, cautiously open the door a little more and kind of trep <laughs> trepidatiously walk inside. Uh, you see the unconscious body of Fauntleroy in the main oh, no. room, oh. face down. Oh, yeah! Oh, and the Kool-Aid <laughs> guy breaks through the wall. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, no. Gelatinous cube, really, in a jar. Is he okay? Nice. Don't get me started on gelatinous cube. <laughs> Frank <laughs> said no. <laughs> he has a trickle of blood from his forehead <clears throat> with a uh, knot developing. It looks like he has been conked in the head. Oh my, is there anyone else around? Everybody give me perception checks. Ooh. 16. 25. 18. What? I rolled a 19. Uh, all three of you notice a strange exotic spice lingering in the air. I think Daphne was out that episode. Spice? Am I quoting this? It, it's a spice probably from the Orient. Zadar and Camille, I think, were involved in the episode with the monks. Mm -hmm. From flowers? Mm. Do they have big, colorful petals and a black center? Uh, nope. No, Daphne was was with <laughs> no, us yeah. for the monk encounter. Were, were you? Yeah. Were you with them with the giant no. rabbit? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Daphne yeah. almost oh, died. Okay. <laughs> okay. The child on the rabbit. That's right. So all three of you noticed the last time you smelled this was when you were dealing with the monks. Mm-hmm. Opium. Yeah, okay. Yep. Poppies. Poppies. Uh, Mortimer will rush in and check on Fauntleroy since you guys seem to be trepidatious. Okay. I think he's dead. Really? He's still breathing. Please check to make sure. <laughs> I'm not a doctor. I'm a scholar, Jim. Jim. <laughs> Are doctors supposed to be scholars? Oh, man. Uh, you hear a soft moan come from Fauntleroy. Clearly, I was about to say, could have been is not check. a physician. Right, right. <laughs> and he a... points out, wait, I may have made a mistake. I <laughs> well, Fauntleroy, it seems uh, tales of your, your demise have been greatly exaggerated. Fauntleroy is still unconscious. He's still unconscious? Okay. Yep. okay. I... We, 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 make him comfortable 
before we start searching the place, I guess. Did you get him a massage? You get him no, some wine? no, but <laughs> bundled up, up. You, you know, something, you know, trying to make sure. They... Avoid shock. Exactly. Can there I, we go. Can I do Ray of Frost, but make it really gentle for his head? <laughs> Ray of Frost? You will probably oh, kill no, him if you cold. Ray of Frost. You know, a cool, a cool <laughs> no, I, No, I think you need to be a dream. There's, an, uh, there's another spell for that. And, okay. look into. and, and it ain't Ray that. of Frost, yeah. Wait, Prestidigitation can do it. She doesn't have that. I do. Go ahead. Okay, do I see a pitcher of water? Sure. Okay, so... So I take out one of my kerchiefs because, you know, a changeling has this. <laughs> and uh, and uh, pour some water and casting press of digitation, I, I make it uh, cool or cold and press it to Font Leroy's uh, nod on his head. Uh Cool. Uh, while you're doing I'm that, I'm just saying we're being helpful. You know? oh, yeah, you're being extremely helpful, and nobody's paying attention to the surroundings, so I am going to take an attack. Mi oh, no. <laughs> uh, six on Daphne. Uh, I get two attacks. Uh, 10 and 11 plus four does a 15 hit Daphne. Oh. Take that. Can't hit me. Damn uh, it. <laughs> Great. Tone Loke is in the building. Everybody roll initiative against this hired muscle. That's MC Hammer for your info. Yeah. <laughs> that's an eight initiative. That's what I get for back talking. That, that's right. <laughs> I got 18. Wait, what? We We're rolling initiative. Yeah, 18. 14. Uh, Daphne, uh, after nearly getting your head lopped off, you get to attack. Nice. All right. This is not a monk. What? Okay. Um, 11 to hit? That would be negatory. Uh, Camille, you're up next. Uh... And to flash the air. You scrape off his uh, leather uh, chest plate. Do we recognize who this is? Nope, not a clue. Three. Not even close. You cut off about yay much of Daphne's hair from the Aww. rear. Uh, next up is the 10. That is me. I am going to split my attacks. One on each of you on Camille. A four. And a 14 plus 4, does an 18 get you, Daphne? Four, what? 18. I thought you were doing me. Yeah, yeah. One on you, one on oh. her. Did we ever take a rest? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Three hit points. You were coming here to take a rest, I assume. <laughs> we were. <laughs> uh, Zadar, uh, you can... Drop Fauntleroy's head onto the uh, hardwood floor and attack, or you can gently set him down and attack at minus one. Oh, gosh. Okay. He is currently uh, resting in your bosoms, so <laughs> there's a penalty there somewhere. I'll, I'll gently set his, his head to the floor and take the negative one. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, that doesn't help. <laughs> Ten. Nope. Twelve is your number, boys and girls. Uh, Daphne, it's around to you. Round two. All right. Why? Thirteen to hit. Thirteen does hit. Nice. All right. Cool. Uh, seven damage. With Nicely my done. Was that your uh, dice roller making those noises? It's on, so it's D and D Beyond. I yeah, it's it these little like bubbles. potion <laughs> bottles that are dice. It's just nice to me having to roll because I sounds like Mortimer had the clams at Alfredo's or something. <laughs> Amen. Camille, you're up. Uh, I cast Web. Oh, oh. oh, nicely done. Uh, what do I need to do that? A strength roll, right? Think. 
that is not going to work. Uh, Webs fill the Adventurers Guild. Uh, Daphne and Zadar make. Uh, eh, give me a base roll on d20s, please. Let's see if you botch it. That's rolling. Yep. Oh my god, I got two. <laughs> Fourteen. Daphne's <laughs> stuck in the web as well. Who is I am? You are and the bad guy. This okay. is a very sticky situation we're in. <laughs> Catchphrase! <laughs> <laughs> uh, the good news is uh, the thug is captured uh, and he has already tried to break out and cannot. Zadar, uh, Boobs McClanahan, uh, it is up to you now. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I am going to take advantage of that and make an unarmed strike, try to knock this dude out. <laughs> if you botch it, you're trapped too. I know, I know. So okay, you get to hit a bit advantage. Okay, what what hits it? I hit. I rolled a twelve. 12. Yep. Okay. Twelve. All hits. right. Okay. That's uh uh. Well, that's two unarmed damage, but the sneak attack will come up. And that hits him for uh, two plus a total of 11 points. Yeah, I'm not really sure you can get a sneak attack for that much damage on it, but I'll mm. go ahead and give it to you. Okay. Right. I figured because we're surrounded, uh, I have allies well, within it five feet of me. Yeah, it seems odd that a sneak attack would do that much damage with an unarmed strike, but eh, I don't care. Uh, Daphne, uh, your turn, round three. See if you can pull yourself out of the sticky situation you're in. So sticky. Catchphrase. <laughs> um, what would this be to get out of it? Strength. Just regular sh uh, general strength. Oh, screw me. I got an at one, but because of plus two, I got a three. So I'm just like, I guess myself a little more stuck somehow. More of your hair is stuck in the web. So he looks uh, like the, the fly at the end. That's <laughs> right. Your struggling has not made your situation any better. Camille, you are up. Uh, the thug does not look that good. Um, Can I ask and... him what the fuck he's doing? Uh, currently struggling. Thank you, bitch. <laughs> what? Why are you here? Why did you knock out Fauntleroy? I didn't knock out Fauntleroy. Whoever Fauntleroy is. So why are you here? Door was open. Why did you attack us? Self-control. He struggles, but he cannot break free of the bonds. Uh, you guys are trying to stop me. Duh. From what? Uh, we came here, checked on our friend. You started fucking with us. Uh, this is our house, bitch. Zadar and Camille investigation. Daphne strength. Okay, uh, eighteen on investigation. Did we both is, roll eighteens? Daphne is able to free herself without pulling out too much air. I get twenty. Uh, Zadar and Camille, you notice a uh, standard Santa bag uh, over from where this asshole came from. Looks like he's ripping the place off. Oh, Jesus. So you came in and he was already down? Yeah, that I saw that bitch leave, so... What'd she look, I look like? Uh, she had a really nice robe on with, like, sigils all over him. Okay. Well, you just hang tight here. We're gonna call <laughs> <laughs> He struggles again. Uh, and yeah, it makes it worse. That's a four. So I guess we need to call the guard. Yeah, we need to call the guard. Sure. Who's calling the guard? Uh, Do you want to stay I'll... as Jessica? <laughs> as Jessica, I will call the guard. Awesome. Good choice. D12 against me there, Jessica Rabbit. All right. Nine. 12. <laughs> uh, you attract a guard as well as other onlookers. Hi there. Can I help you out in some kind of way? Why, sure you can. This. <laughs> <laughs> 
Zoning we'll talk down. later. Uh, <laughs> you, you've got a mouth? <laughs> right. I, ha nice. I haven't made it that high. <laughs> uh, the guard comes in. You guys can briefly explain it to him. Uh, uh, guard asks him what he's doing. He says, hang it out. <laughs> <laughs> This isn't a halfling with like a phrase. It is not. It is just a uh, that would have sucked. No, that would have been funny if it was Skippy Lee. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, yeah, but then you would have known what he was. Yeah, doing. we we would have known it was Skippy. Uh, he reiterates the same story that he told you guys to the guard. Points out, yeah, whatever, big deal. I was ripping the place off. Hey, guys, got to make an honest living, right? Hmm. So uh, the, not off my the, stuff. <laughs> which way did the monk go? Isn't that uh, a question of everyday life? <laughs> I, I, uh, I, I don't see how helping would say adjust my situation. I don't see how not helping wouldn't adjust your situation. Uh, the guard is a young guard and doesn't really know what she is doing uh but she knows because you guys have pins uh that you are part of the guild she is just going to stand there and let you guys sort this out okay. uh perhaps if i could get a good word with the uh magistrate from you guys well if you cooperate we we'd be open i to have that. a cooperative individual all right, well, cooperate your ass some information. <laughs> Tell I could hit you with a ray of frost right now. <clears throat> okay, as I stated before, I was merely minding my own business, walking down the street, when this lady in a shiny robe with sigils down the side bumps into me and runs down towards the docks. There um, we go. Is that so um, hard? A moment later, your boss is in hot pursuit. <laughs> and I notice he didn't shut the door. Vis-a-vis, -vis, I figure I can make a quick buck. Which uh, boss are we talking about? Uh, oh. yeah, uh, the nuts guy. Okay. Good to know. Uh, and that's all I know. And then uh, you come in, uh, you shove silk up my ass, and uh, here we be. Awesome. Well, thanks for cooperating. Have Look, a nice I'm a day. puppet. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to take our friend Daphne and go. Uh, well, we're going to. The female guard says, do I throw him in jail? Yes. Or... Okay. Yes. Uh, can you help me cut him down real quick? Don't you have other guards that can help you? Mortimer J. Sneed says, I will help you, local gendarme. <laughs> and that's a five. Mortimer J. Sneed is also stuck in the web. Awesome. <laughs> Tell you what, on our way out, we'll send some people to help you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even get her name. Wow. <laughs> um, so uh, where do you guys want to head next? I guess we head towards where we think uh, Famunda is yeah, going. Yeah, we, we try to find Famunda. Apparently down towards the docks. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yes. All right. We're in hot pursuit. As you get down to the docks. Uh, that's, your catchphrase. that's his catchphrase. Hot uh, pursuit. Mine's a sticky situation. There we <laughs> go. I'm just hanging out. Uh, Camille. Uh, it's Together getting foggy in here. <laughs> uh, everybody give me perception checks as you hit the dock and notice it is a hive of activity. 18. Uh, that would be no, 12. No, 17. Uh, Zadar, you notice a lot of people. Daphne and Camille, uh, you notice two different people. Uh, uh, racist. <laughs> no, not different that way. Uh, two different individuals. Uh, Camille, 
you notice a councilman uh, preparing to board a ship uh. along with his daughter. Daphne, uh, you notice a crowd beginning to build over in the corner and you hear sounds of battle in between the bobbing heads of the looky-loos. You see Famunda D's nuts in battle. Is he holding his own? He is not. <laughs> uh, is the boat getting ready to leave? Uh, give me an insight check. Plus one, 15. It does not appear uh, ready to leave immediately as there is a line behind Zubek Zoran and, uh, or Zoran Zubek and Zephyr. Okay, so I guess we better go help Thamunda first. Oh, wait, do we know where the oh, ship God, is Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> do we know what? Where the ship is headed to. You have no shit. All no right. idea, nothing. Let's go help our boss then. Um, do I recognize the person he's fighting oh as you guys peel through the crowd all three of you recognize it as the female monk Whitcha! gives him a strike to the face knocking Fomunda D's nuts out <laughs> unconscious uh, mistress of pain turns to run back towards the ship and sees you three running headlong at her it's time for the big fight, boys and girls. It's <laughs> on day 46. Uh, initiative. You never took a rest? Nope. I was just bringing him the chance to take a rest. <laughs> 20. Take a 20-minute tw nap, guys? Before we <laughs> if you want, you still have healing potions. That's yeah, true. you still have a healing potion. So. If you wanted to gobble a healing potion as you ran towards the docks, I will let you recover those. All right, things. I'll do that. You can do, you can do the regular one or the 2d8 plus 4 one. What's the regular one? 1d8 plus 2. No ones. I'll do that one. Uh, Camille, Zadar, did you guys need to take any healing potions? Uh, I'm still pretty good. I'm good. But... <laughs> <clears throat> so, uh, so my girlfriend turns around <laughs> to engage us. <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, she'll mm -hmm. remember you guys. Well, uh, she's not going to remember me for what I look like, but I'm going to remedy true. that. <laughs> uh, Camille, what was yours? 19. Ouch. A Zdar? Uh, 20. Not natural. Damn it. Uh, Daphne, what was your initiative? Oh, from before? No, for this this encounter. Uh, four. Solid four. <laughs> <laughs> Solid four. <laughs> uh, Daphne is having an issue getting through the crowd, but the other two... Well, she is tripping uh, and gulping at the same time. That's true. She's trying, she's trying to run while doing this and running over small elderly women who are just... And children! And then I sit there like, do I need to put one of these on me? Yes. <laughs> yes. Strap on a kid, boys and girls. <laughs> this is going to be a nasty fight. Uh, good news, Zadar, you are number one. The Mistress of Pain looks at you and sneers, Who the fuck are you? <laughs> well, that's just rude. And uh, uh, Jessica Rabbit has her boobs hanging out. <laughs> so? uh, with, with that, I am going to put up the hood and I'm going to cast I'm, I'm going to cast silent image and then ship to Joan Jet at the speed of a thought right next to her <laughs> and pull the hood back. Nice. Fair enough. Uh, Camille, you have the 19. You get to go next. I will be <sighs> casting mage armor on myself. Nice. I'll get my ass kicked. That means it is my turn, uh, as Daphne has not yet entered the fray. Let's work out how bad this bitch really is, because she's got all of her key points. Oh, uh, God. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, odd Camille, 
even Zadar slash Joan Jet for the first attack. She recognizes me now, right? Oh, yeah. Three, that is odd. That is Camille. And four, that is even. <laughs> that is Zadar slash Joan Jet. The spare attack is an eight. That is also Zadar uh, because she gets three unarmed attacks. Hiya! Uh, and she is going to start whomping some ass. Uh, <laughs> <coughs> Camille, three plus seven is ten. Uh, that ain't going to hit you. Zadar, yes, I said plus seven. This yeah. is going to put you in the hospital. Uh, Seventeen and a nine, so sixteen and twenty-four. Uh, Sixteen misses, twenty-four hits. Uh, cutting action can't be used as a reaction, huh? Can or cannot? Cannot. Can it? Uh, I'm asking. You're the DM. <laughs> I don't think so. Not no, it's just a bonus action. So, I, I mean, it's not my turn, so I can't yeah. take it. Right. Uh, four plus four. Uh, she eight. gives Joan Jett a punch in the puss for eight hit points. Puss being a term from the 50s, the not what face. you were thinking. Uh, Daphne, you have successfully gulped your healing potion, dribbled a little bit down your chin. And Did you I feel like a child? Did she I feel like a bit. child in the, the realm of me slowly being healed? You're really going to use a child as armor. Hell yeah. Uh, give me, a, give me a dexterity level. roll. As you and decide then, uh, whether, and I will decide whether or not it's an oh. urchin or an owned child. A nine. You don't own children, you cad. <laughs> you catch you rent them. them. <laughs> like a disease, like a deadly disease, you catch children. It is an owned child. <laughs> uh, and they got a nat 20, so they saw you put out your talons and try and scoop them up, and they made themselves flat a la the Matrix as you right. pull it your hand help? across. <laughs> Can I put an old person then? Oh my god. Uh, go ahead and dexterity roll it. She's just reaching out both arms to try and collect bodies. I got a nat 20. Plus one. It's 21. I got a 10. Uh, you got uh, an elderly female. Uh, her cane goes into a crowd of pigeons that she was trying to feed, <laughs> scattering them. And you have her in one hand charging Mistress <laughs> of Pain in the other uh, as the kid uh, never actually... The ass never touches the ground. They just bend at the knees and they pop back up. <laughs> Dodged one. One <laughs> It's like I was getting the kid. I got the old woman. <laughs> you got the old woman. You are dragging her behind. She has lost one of her granny shoes. And you are now at the forefront of the fray as the circle of people expand as they see Joan Jett having blood drip from her nose in a horrific punch. So you're up, Daphne. <laughs> How much AC do I get for holding this old woman? Uh, uh, we'll, we'll decide when it, if and when she attacks you. Because okay. I'm pretty sure I'm going to kill this lady. Uh, but what do you want to do? You can use the old bat as a improvised weapon. Folks at home, welcome to Murder Hobo Inc. <laughs> would that be like the normal, my normal attack then, or is it? That different? would be your normal attack. Instead of using a weapon, you can use an old lady. Yeah, I'll use the old lady. So 14 to hit? Uh, no. Uh, that ricochets off the Mistress of Pain. Whoa! <laughs> I just like threw, I just thrust her and threw her around in a circle. <laughs> However, uh, Mistress of Pain will. <laughs> Punch the old lady for two. Oh, dearie, I'm hurt. Uh, <laughs> oh, top man. of the like order. It. <laughs> it would be better if it was a child. <laughs> oh, my God. Nice. Zadar, you're up with your uh, 20. You're bleeding. It is round two. And Daphne has entered the fray with an old lady. Okay. 
Uh, I am gonna. <laughs> Old lady nunchuck. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Just... Now oh, I need dear. another one. Oh dear! Somebody <laughs> feed my cats. <laughs> I'm gonna cast flying daggers from my bracers, and Wait, uh, two daggers are gonna fly out. There's the like cat can be an extra attack. The cat just come out of her book. Yeah! <laughs> it's the old crazy cat woman. Uh, okay, <laughs> flying daggers now that there's an old lady in the fray. <laughs> well, if it's not my intended target, it just evaporates. So. Uh, and meanwhile, there's a guard watching and he does this. Uh, uh, you uh, uh, big asshole. <laughs> The first one was a 12, the second one was a 16. Does a 16 hit? A 16 does hit! Okay, and uh, uh, since I'm in a crowd, do I get sneak attack? Uh, she was engaged with you and Camille. Okay. So, alright, as far as the, the damage from that, that one hit... Don't worry about the... it, she uses a key point as dodge oh, as her bonus action. <laughs> Uh, this this bitch is going to be hardcore for you guys. Yeah. Uh, uh, Camille, you're up. Hmm. As you as you dodge, uh, Eunice, the spinning <laughs> uh, tiefling weapon. <laughs> oh dear! I got twenty. Oh, Mister Mittens, I loved him. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. I got twenty. <laughs> Oh my god, Mr. <laughs> Savane cannot dodge that one as she is stunned by Eunice's <laughs> comments, and you connect. How oh, much fuck. do you do? Um, well, let's see. <laughs> so I suppose all of my uh, partners are, like, right with me. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, we're in with you. And Eunice. <laughs> and Eunice. Yeah. <laughs> um, I cast uh, Ray of Frost. Fair enough. Um, uh, well, with the 20, you got her. So, 1d8 cold. Do you yell out, chill out, bitch, catchphrase. Yeah. <laughs> catchphrase. Eight. Ooh, that is not going to make her happy at all. Freeze, bitch. We're the cops. Uh, unfortunately, it is her turn. Uh, Daphne, when it comes to you, because I'm going to go for three unarmed attacks, uh, I'm going to see if uh, Eunice is going to get in the way. So uh, we will start with uh, Lady Freeze. Uh, 17 plus 7, that's a 24. That is going to get you. Uh, Zadar, uh, only a 6, so 13. I don't think that gets you this time. Nope. Uh, 1 to 4, Daphne, she's going to hit you. 5 or 6, she'll probably kill Eunice. 4, <laughs> she's aiming for you. Uh, 14 plus 7 is 21, so I connect on uh, Camille and Daphne. You guys are going to suffer 8 damage each. As she... Hey. 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 Then she gets my hellish rebuke. For there you go. Me. Screw her, then. She takes 14 damage. Ouch. Uh, Eunice screams loudly, my hairnet's on fire! My hairnet's on fire! Ah, she'll survive! <laughs> she got those kitty cats to live for, that's what I tell her. Think about the cats, think about put a the little, Put a little cat litter on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you little cat, little cat piece! That's oh, right. Uh, Daphne, that brings us to you. Alright. I attack her with my old woman again. Nice. Uh, 18 to hit. Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh, I'm using am? an old woman as a mace. That's right. <laughs> Eight damage. Oh, Eunice is unconscious as her dentures fly across the dock. <laughs> Don't spit up on your keyboard, boys and girls. That really hurts. Uh, top of round three. Uh, everybody perception check before we go further. Uh, that's gonna piss me off. It's all looking for that old woman. I know it. <laughs> 20. Not natural. Oh, hang on. 
Uh, <sighs> Fourteen. Twelve. Uh, all three of you hear ding ding, ding ding, ding ding. The universal sound that a ship will be leaving the dock momentarily. Zadar, uh, as Mistress of Pain looks around frantically, you are up. Okay. Uh, catching. Uh... I try to catch her attention, and in doing that, I'm going to blow her a little kiss, and she's going to have to make a wisdom save. Uh, that is a 15 plus... Damn it. I, I knew never Ooh. to try this on a monk. 17, so she whatever saves. it was, she doesn't care. Yeah, she doesn't fall on the ground laughing. Anything else? Uh... Yeah, uh mm. Uh, I am going to use my movement to uh, disengage Fair and enough. try to reach the dockmaster to sh stop the ship. Oh, so you're going to bail on your friends. Good call. Fuck those guys. I barely know them. Uh, no, as... the reason why is because we know about... You're a coward. Girlfriend. We got it. You're yellow. You're yellow, Marty McFly. All right. Sorry. <laughs> Go, it's a catch go, 22 go, folks go, go. <laughs> camille you're up uh, uh, how much does it take to hit her 16 Fuck. no swing and a miss uh Zadar, uh, before we move on to her attack, uh, give me an investigation to see if you can find Peter Moran, the dockmaster. Peter, Peter. 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 Uh, 16. Uh, you spot Peter uh, once again, surrounded by a group of people. Uh, as you have disengaged, you head that way. Uh, good news for uh, Daphne and Camille. Uh, the Mistress of Pain takes one look at the boat starting to disembark. She is going to take one shot before she uses Step of the Wind to disengage. Uh, will she hit? Uh, what's a good one? Uh, one through four. Uh, she's going to take a shot at Camille. Five to... Eight, she's going to go for Daphne. Uh, nine or ten, she's going to put Eunice out of her misery. Oh, no. <laughs> ten, she goes to attack Daphne, but strikes the unconscious Eunice. Oh, no. With no shit, not 20. <laughs> oh, Eunice, God rest her. Yeah, we Eunice, the her. cat lady, is dead. Dead. Uh, you Poor guys Eunice, we hardly need Mr. me. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. Uh, she slumps by, goes hauling ass with an amazing amount of speed. Uh, Camille, Daphne, you turn to look, and the Pegasus uh, is throwing the ropes off the ship. Wait, the horse like a Pegasus? Uh, the ship's name is the Pegasus. Oh. Uh, and it appears the Mistress of Pain is headed right for it. Uh, Daphne, it is your turn. What would you like to do? I guess I like lunge to attack her, right? She is already double dashed. She is hauling She's gone. the She's, mail. she's 30 feet away at least. Yeah, yeah. you're going to have to hump to catch her. 30? Can I, can I run 10 feet to at least throw 20 feet? Yes, you can. I, I do that. I run 10 feet. You got a javelin? Have a hand axe. I throw 20 feet. I got a nat 20. Damn it. Yes. <laughs> so 24 in general. All right. How so does this damage work again? Damage, damage, and then add the modifier. Damage twice? Yep. Okay. That sounds like my stomach this morning. <laughs> 17 damage? 17, and she is able to deflect missiles, which is a really cool bonus. Mm -hmm. Monks are the shit uh, at low levels. Shall we, shall 
She only does six deflections, so you get 11. Uh, that is going to severely injure her, and uh, everybody notices that she seems to have lost a step. Uh, she seems to be getting ready to make a jump at a dangling rope uh, that uh, the councilman, Zoran, has thrown over the side for her. Apparently, they're going to try and escape together uh, for parts unknown. At the top of round four, uh, you hear Zephyr yelling, Save me! Save me! Uh, and Zadar, you reach Peter Moran. And I'm yelling, Peter, stop the ship! There's assassins on the ship! They killed an old lady here in the crowd! <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah, love it. she killed the old lady. She was one of the care for cats. That's right. She ran a uh, cat rescue. Uh, Zadar. Persuasion? Peta looks over at the Pegasus and in his best Gene Wilder, Willy Wonka voice goes, No. Stop. Don't go. What do you want me to do? They're all <laughs> going. Uh, I'll give you a movement, but that's about it. Okay. Grab the just... rope. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, okay. With with my movement, I'm going to make a lunge for the rope. <laughs> uh, you will not get there in enough okay. time. To make okay. A... You will no. be able to do that. But I will use my movement to head in that direction. <laughs> uh, Camille, you're up. Uh, how far away from am I from the boat? Uh, about 50 feet. You're about 30 feet away from her. Okay, and then I will misty step over to her. Nice! Nicely done. Uh, you misty step 30 feet over, and she goes running past you, and she makes the leap of her life. Uh, fortunately, the boat's still close. With a 17, uh, she doesn't even need the fucking rope. She leaps aboard ship. A couple of sailors jump back. Jesus Christ, what the hell is going on? Uh, Daphne, you're up. Do I get an opportunity attack? Yeah, I'll give you one opportunity attack. Okay. Because uh. you will see that her trajectory. Yeah. Uh. Especially with the axe hanging out of her back. Can you make a, a opportunity attack with a spell? No. Okay. Hey, <laughs> Fire crossbow. What does that mean? Uh, the bonus action. Mm -hmm. You can do something else. Okay. Not the spell because you've already cast right. one. Right. Okay. I'm Fire the crossbows that are. Yep. Uh, let's see. Hit Zephyr right in the face. <laughs> let's hope not. <laughs> 14 plus 7, 21. You hit her. Okay. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, with that, eleven points of damage. Uh, that is a missile weapon. Mm-hmm. See if she deflects it. She I, she halved it, right? Yep. A little bit more than halved. She oh, can crap. deflect. She can deflect missiles, reduce damage by one d ten plus nine. Holy crap! <laughs> yeah, she's she's kind of a bitch. Uh, <laughs> what is your bonus action, Camille? Thunder wave. Nope, you've already cast a spell. This yeah, time. you can't God cast a spell. Damn it! Okay. You cast it top of the order though. Uh, Daphne, uh, you see Zadar knock a crossbow, shoot it. She deflects it with her hand. Uh, you notice that Camille, using Zephyr-esque like speed, uh, is close to the boat, but uh, in no way, shape, or form able to reach out and put the touch on the Mistress of Pain as she leaps aboard the boat. What would you like to do? Are we? Are we? Am I, am I allowed to get closer to her now? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can take your movement. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And if you don't want to attack, you can double dash it. And use twice your movement. How far away is she from me? 50 feet. Or no, you moved up 10 feet, so <laughs> she's only 40 feet away. Oh, she's 10 feet out of my range. Or actually, she's 5 feet out of my range, to be specific. Can I use a cantrip? Nope. Nothing? What's the point of a second action? <laughs> uh, attack. 
Yeah, my uh, like bonus action is for movement and for people that make melee attacks. Well, that's no, now, now, if you want to take your bonus action as movement, you can get all the way to the dock and make a, an advantage jump next round. Okay, that sounds lovely. Can I like literally sprint in front of her though? She's already on the boat. Uh, can if I you... like jump? Like, can I do double movement to get onto the boat? Yes, you may. Go ahead and roll me dexterity. Oh no. You can do it. 20, not natural. Oh, easily. Uh, you jump <laughs> on the uh, Pegasus, uh, which is the masthead. You grab a hold of the unicorn or the Pegasus uh, snout and throw yourself up. You and a couple of sailors, along with Zephyr, Zoran, and the Mistress of Pain, are on the ship as it's slowly backing out. Uh, top of the order, Zidar. Uh, I'm going to wink when I get on the ship. Like Nice. You can do the Jack Burton look at her from uh, Big Trouble in Little China. <laughs> like, nice. No, I'm going to give her seductive like, faces. like okay. Nice. You know. <laughs> okay, is it our Moving round in on my wife. <laughs> All right. Uh, I am going to reach out and touch her with Chill Touch. Mm -hmm. uh, you does you a, aren't on the ship. It's 120 feet. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, Freeze, bitch. No. <laughs> 24. Uh, that hits. hits. Okay. And with that, she is uh, going to take uh, eight necrotic damage That's and be at disadvantage. Okay. Disadvantage. Uh, Camille, uh, if you want to board the ship, make your deck save at advantage. What does that mean? Roll twice, take the high one. 20. Oh, Nat? Yes. Holy shit. Uh, Daphne, Camille joins you in your seductive wink as you guys square off with her in the middle of your chick sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Monks aren't my type. <laughs> the sailors are like, mm, mm, this could get interesting. We've got chicks out the wazoo now. Uh, Zoran grabs Zephyr, pushes him back. Uh, Mistress of Pain, wah, 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 wah. So she is going to go after each one of you. Odd Camille, even Daphne for the second one. That's two, so Daphne, hopefully she doesn't knock you out. Uh, first one is Camille. 14 plus 7 is 21. That connects. Uh, first one, 8 plus 7, 15, Daphne. I don't think that gets 15 you. 15 to hit? No, it doesn't hit. And second one, 15 plus 7 is 22. Uh, yeah, that, that's all she's going to do. Uh, she palms both of you. Only for six. Uh, her spinning kick, Daphne, goes up and over your head uh, as she tries to knock that seductive look off your face. Uh, and it is your turn as the sailors or as we call them, seamen, uh, back way the fuck off and, uh, hey, chick fight! <laughs> uh, so go ahead, Daphne. This is the end of round five. All right, so I go to talk to her with my scimitar. Being so sad it's not the old lady, and it's an eight, so instead I just give her some fancy moves. I'm like, <laughs> You do and not Zoro Zubat or Zoran. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Round six, Zadar being the only one on the dock. Okay, uh, the ship as it's pulling out is there. Uh, hold on, Zadar. Uh, Peto walks up next to you and goes, No, no, stop. I tried. <laughs> you did your best. Can you take him in the balls for me. <laughs> I'll leave that for you. <laughs> no, I'm not going to waste an action. Uh, okay, at, at a point as the ship is pointing out, is there any other close uh, points to, to be able to make a leap onto the ship? 
if you want to run up on the mana core next to it, it is in dock. Uh, you can use your movement to run up the gangplank uh, and run to the back of the ship. And okay, because I'm gonna it. I'm gonna bonus action dash. I'm a double dash and then use my cunning action as bonus action and add add more velocity. <laughs> as you towards. Ferris Bueller your way through the the man of core oh hey dinner's ready uh <laughs> like, hey, what the fuck are you doing you, smells good you zigzag through you get up to the top where the captain's looking at you holding the uh ship's wheel and you can make maybe this could be awesome you can leap off the rear of the man of core uh right in behind daphne if you make a straight up dex check if not oh. bloop, you're okay. going to the drink 20 not natural you land superhero landing yes <laughs> <laughs> and that brings us to camille uh your entire party is assembled on the deck uh a mistress of in pain uh is now having difficulty focusing uh after having killed eunice rest in peace eunice uh so it is your attack before she gets another crack at you guys uh, I'll do Shocking Grasp. Hit her or get hit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that didn't work. Bow to Jesus! <laughs> uh, with all three of you present, uh, she's going to roundhouse flurry of blows on one of you. So each one of you is going to get a punch... But she is going to, oh, she gets two unarmed attacks as a bonus. She's going to do some major damage. So the person she is not going to hit is a two. Uh, Camille, you are only getting hit once. Everybody else is going to take one for the team. Camille, 18 plus seven. You get hit anyway. Uh, Sadar. Uh, 10 plus 7 is 17. 13 plus 7, dirty 20. Yeah, that hits. Both? Uh, the, yeah, one's a 17, one's a 20, right? Yep. Yeah, they both, both hit. hit. Uh, Daphne. <laughs> 8 plus 7 is 15. That ain't gonna do it, but the 18 yeah. plus 7, 25, is if you took a hit, which I think everybody did, including Zadar with 2, Three plus four is seven. Uh, Wait, I'm seven, taking seven damage? Yep. Seven to Camille, seven to Daphne, 14 to Zadar. Jeez. And what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Daphne, it is your turn at the end of round six. Uh, sailors are exchanging money, uh, although they aren't real happy that uh, the superhero has landed. What do you got for me? Daphne? They're not happy that Joan Jett and a leather outfit just landed on the deck. Come on. Maybe, maybe if you had brought a pillow and were topless and all three of you were topless Giggling. pillow fighting. Which, oh. you know, which happens in real life. Yeah, it happens. It does. Okay, know. Daphne, what you got for me? All right. Um, when it comes to sanctuary. Thanks, Sanctuary. Thanks. It only it says a creature, so like I don't you understand. Can put it on that yourself. Be like a humanoid, or you can cast it on yourself. No, no, no. But it's like it says it like wards off a creature. But does that yeah. include a humanoid? Mm -hmm. it, it'll ward her off. It, she'll fight at what minus two, I think. Yeah, something like that. Either that, or she has to attack another target. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like either she says save on wisdom and who's dying right now are you either one of she you dying? On. neither <laughs> one of them are dying well how much how many hit points does everybody have i have yeah. nine left <laughs> oh i've got uh, i got 13 left 10, uh, seven, i have nine <laughs> I could do shield Sophie's of faith. Sophie's choice. Here we go. <laughs> do you want shield of faith or sanctuary? 
Oh, I'm. Either one is good. <laughs> so. Or I could do bless. Which I, it says you bless three creatures of your choice within a range. Whenever a target makes an attack roll or saving throw before the spell ends, the target can roll a d4 and add that number roll to the attack roll or saving throw. Um, bless would be great, too, for all of us. All right. I guess I cast Bless as my turn, then. The Tiefling Paladin calls down spirits of her deity, and a warm glow basks in the party as we begin... Round seven, Mistress of Pain bleeding from both ears and both nostrils. She looks pissed. Zadar, you're up. Your superhero landing is expunged. You are standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with your colleagues as you have her diamond out. <laughs> I am going to use Tilt Touch again, and a skeletal hand is going to reach up and just grab her by the face. So, let's see. Okay, uh, 18. 18 hits. Okay. And uh, not much damage. Four damage. Not enough damage. Camille, you're up. She's at she disadvantage, though. Yep. Uh, so. Camille, she does not look good <laughs> at all. Well, let's see. I'll do something else then. Um. Ray of Sickness. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. We'll do Ray of Sickness. If I can get this to roll. 18. Hits. And... Where's the... Where's my 8? One... Can't even use patient defense and for that either. Five. Said no. <laughs> five hit points to the Mistress of Pain. Odd even. <laughs> the Mistress of Pain reaches down, grabs her stomach as a jet of vomit <laughs> the ship, and she goes overboard splashing into the water where she cube gets her. Floats. Just the the cube, is like, she unconscious or she is unconscious oh we can't let her go we can't let her Daphne, go Daphne uh, that leads us to you you look over the side and see mistress of pain floating in a pool of her own vomit and seawater the seaman woo woo <laughs> Take off your tops! <laughs> <laughs> the captain is not a mute. She is a female. Daphne, what would you like to do? Did I get my hand axe back? I would assume I did. It, so I didn't. Nope, you never reach for it. Is well, you have more than one. <laughs> the good news is uh, it, she's using it as a rudder. <laughs> <laughs> do I have more than one hand axe? Wait, is, is there anything around me I can throw? Sailors. Do I ask this? That's it. They, they have those billy clubs that you can throw. There's no like, what's that? It's a billy club. It's uh, the billy club on the ship holds the ropes in place. Yeah, they can just pull one of them. 14 inches long. It's got a handle on it, and it goes through a hole in the side of the ship. Should and they wrap the. Uh, All right, rope, um, I guess we do that. But while it, I asked, "Hey, does anyone want to help me throw this at her and get this loose?" Well, she's unconscious. She ain't gonna catch it. <laughs> no, I want to knock her out. Right? She's unconscious already. She's unconscious. She has vomited all over herself and fallen overboard. I feel mm -hmm. like we should we should kill her. Well, yeah. Unless someone has like talked the animals and it's like, "Yo, sea creatures." Mister Minute. Mr. Mittens, Mr. Mittens. <laughs> are there any cats with this on this boat? Did the cats? Oh, all, all the cats are hovering around in some Eunice. <laughs> around Eunice. <laughs> all right, Poor do I have kitties. to do like a strength check to try to like take one of these things out? No, no, they're easy to do. All right, so I want to throw one at her then. Sure, go ahead. What is that? Just a normal attack? Uh, dexterity is your modifier. Uh. Okay. I rolled a 
Nat 20 plus one. Oh, yeah. Fuck. You throw it through her eyeball. <laughs> she's dead now. <laughs> she's she's dead, dead now. Uh, a sailor looks over the side and goes, Okay. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, in your injured state, you hear, back off or she gets it. And Zoran has a dagger to Zephyr's neck. Really? Get off my ship. <laughs> <laughs> what an asshole. Hey, are we here out in sea? Nope, you're still in the dock. Uh, you hear shouting, yelling, and every once in a while, PETA. No, stop. Don't do it. Uh, you can... Everybody give me an uh, investigation. Since you're focused elsewhere, I'll take investigation. Yes, I Ernie, I'm doing investigation. <laughs> Ernie loves investigation. Uh, Twelve. <laughs> meal uh who uh 24 you and daphne can hear the faint sound of a wounded uh famunda d's nuts uh yelling for help to get that bitch out of the water uh up on deck uh i'll just open up the floor you know what let's roll initiative okay Let's do it the easy way. Rolling initiative. That's for you, Kyle. <laughs> uh, for Zadar, that is uh, an 11. It goes to 11. Daphne? All right, well, what? Uh, We're initiative. rolling initiative. Again? Yep. I wanted to rest. <laughs> 20. Uh, Daphne, you're up first. Zoran Zubek has uh, has his daughter at knife point, and he's ordering you guys off the ship. Do we have to go? Wait, can we just go off the ship? I'm okay with leaving the ship. I, I leave the ship. Okay. Daphne... Does as expected and leaps overboard. Uh, that brings us to the 19. Camille. I cast invisibility on myself. Oh, <laughs> shit just got real, boys and girls. And uh, Zadar, you and I tied with 11s. Where'd okay. that bitch go, is what I say. And I hold the dagger snug against Zephyr's neck. And I am going to try to talk some reasoning into sparing sure. his only daughter, and he's going to have to make a wisdom save. 18 on the God roll. damn it, these smart people. Uh, <laughs> the problem is Zephyr, with a dagger close to her neck, says, he's not my real dad. Uh, Daphne. Oh. Uh, D12 against me, Daphne, since you just jumped overboard. Let's see if, if you plunge your heels into that bitch, Mistress of Pain. Ten. Oh, so I'm definitely not... Whoa, hold on. Meep. You, you, you. I got a nice, solid four. You use her as a wakeboard and you plunge right into her, folding her up as you destroy her uterus with your spiky shoes. No, oh, uh, Jesus. That's somewhat gross. <laughs> you send her under the water it's as a. I was like, oh, I'm so wet from this. <laughs> <laughs> catchphrase. <Wow. laughs> yeah, that's my catchphrase. I'm there so you go. <laughs> Fuck Cinemax, folks. We got it going right here. Uh, a small rowboat piloted by a couple of merchant marines is headed out to help you. Daphne, can you swim? Yeah, why not? Why can't I swim? I'm in seaplane. Like, 
Right, because you're bored in flame. I'm surprised that, you know, they all don't. Uh, we can't talk to people, but we can do, like, the normal day-to-day -day things. Racist. <laughs> well, I have the souls. I swim in the, the lake of the soul, so I had to learn real good. Oh, my God. Uh, Camille, she was you... baptized in the river Styx. That's right. There you go. <laughs> To foreigner, <laughs> uh, Camille, you are invisible. Uh, you will be invisible until you attack. What would you like to do? I would like to uh, uh, I'll go up and try to attack him with my staff. Okay. With a 15. Oh, easily. Okay. He's a civilian. Okay. And let's see. Uh, oh, wrong one. Uh, one, okay. Five. That hurts him. Uh, he crumples to his knee as Zephyr huh, bites him on the wrist. Uh, Camille Zadar. Roll a dex check as the ship lurches to a halt. Uh, five? Oh, I love dice rollers. Oh my god. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> how to work this. Uh, oh, I have to see how he did it. He did not make it either. Uh, how about Zephyr? <laughs> uh, the ship lurches to a halt. How can as a the ship lurch to a halt? They throw uh, out an anchor. <laughs> yeah. They don't lurch. Uh, they they do in this game. Okay. If, if you were the DM, <laughs> you could change that. Uh, it lurches to a halt because clearly uh, the, the captain does not approve of the let's get topless and all this shenanigans on here. It lurches to a halt. Uh, everybody falls except for Zephyr, but Zephyr is tackled by Zadar, who rolled a one and is thrown backwards. Camille, you are visible now, and dipshit is hurt. Uh, Zadar, you are up along with me. I have, let's see if I kept my dagger. I kept my dagger. Okay. I'm going to reach my hand forward, and suddenly the song Dreamweaver starts playing in the <laughs> background. Okay. Uh, the pool huh? is uh, 14. We'll be asleep, but you and he tied. Uh-oh. <laughs> One to two. Camille, three to four, Sidar, five to six, Zephyr. Wait, what? That would that never happen happened? again. It rolled up onto three dice, and I don't know what it is. <laughs> that means we get a pass. <laughs> He's going to reach back and attempt to slash his assailant. He gets no bonuses. The assailant being Zadar? Nope. Uh, Camille. And stabs Camille between the legs, embedding his dagger into the wood. <laughs> missing with a four. Uh, Daphne, a sailor with a natural 20 charisma. Oh, uh, yeah. Give me that. Charisma. Hi there. Need a hand? Catchphrase. <laughs> <laughs> I may need more than just a hand. I could probably offer you a foot. Yeah. Here. But to, between Zadar and Daphne, we got the whole sexual spectrum covered. That's right. Uh, you just need the feet. He, he, <laughs> he reaches out and with a 19 flips you up into his awaiting arm. Hello. So Sorry to get you dry. <laughs> uh, you have been saved. Be a little wet. <laughs> uh, the other sailors drag the 
pegged eyeball, mistress of pain, up there uh, while he holds you in titanic position <laughs> and stands on the bow of the ship with they're, you. They're they're like Jack and Rose. <laughs> That's right. There's there's a love song playing in the background. Maybe a little uh, Gail Sayers and. Uh, no, it's uh, what's her face. Uh, what was that movie? Uh, Celine, Celine Dion. Dion. Celine Dion. Cher. Oh, if why? I get turned back time. Because Mortimer's probably around there. You yeah. know what? Fuck it. Mortimer's on the boat with you. <laughs> How did Mortimer get there? Mortimer. Oh, that's right. He was back. Is he, is he on the ship or the rowboat? Yeah. No, he, he, he is now it. there because he's taking care of Fauntleroy. He the docks at this point. Yeah, he's taking care of Fauntleroy. He he will bring Fauntleroy once he comes oh, to, because awesome. uh, we're we're reaching the big reveal moment here. Uh, so that brings us to uh, Camille. Camille, uh, dumbass, has stuck his dagger into the boat. Looks up with fear in his eyes as, as he realizes he he's might be fucked here. <laughs> well, he he he'll fall asleep, right? Yeah, I thought oh, we tied. That's right. His eyes grow wide and then they grow shut and he falls, smashing his face in between your legs next to the dagger. <laughs> next to the dagger. Nice. That's right. The dagger is right up against his ear. Your thighs are on either side of his face. And of course he would be asleep. Awesome. Girl, He's done. Girl can't <laughs> that's right. Uh uh. Well, I guess we, I guess I need to tie him up somehow so he doesn't wake up and yeah. cause more problems. Well, w one yeah, of the Mariners I, says, you can tie me up anytime, baby. <laughs> tie me up, tie me down. And his, his charisma is a 17. <laughs> wow. So Camille might have a little uh, love shack B-52 kind of moment. I was here. about to say, is this a Navy ship or something? Oh, it's just like, damn. These, these guys haven't been in port that long. But. Navy. <laughs> so, uh, uh, yes, I would enlist his help to tie both of us up. You know, it's not only my stomach that's in knots. Catchphrase. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Deduction catchphrase. I'm not sure how to take that one. Uh, Are you, you tie, a bear? What, what is that? <laughs> you tie him up and you guys notice that the ship, the Pegasus, is returning to port uh, as they throw ropes to the Manacore, which is the ship that Zadar jumped off of, and they are dragging the ship back in port where Famunda D's Nuts is at. Uh, Daphne, her love slave, uh, let's Shameless. call him... Giorgio. That's a cool name. There we Giorgio. Go. No, uh, Giorgio. Oh, why not Giorgia? He's Giorgio. Italian. He's Italian. Uh, yeah. So he's a lover. And he, he, he looks like he's got Mr. Mittens on his chest because he's just got hair pouring out of every oh. pore because he's so virile. I, think, I feel like Mittens is like it's got the cat with the little white, like, you know, spot. So it looks like he's the got socks. a cat. Yeah. But like the socks are where the hair is not. <laughs> nice. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Uh, Camille, your stallion is going to be Archibald Meat Pants. Uh, let's go with, uh, I don't know. You know what? Let's go with a sexy name, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, uh, no, no, I got it. Francois. <laughs> we'll go with Francois. There we go. Francois. Oh, ho, ho, ho. And he goes, <laughs> my dear. Francois. You have done something emotionally to me. Would you care to share my brie? <laughs> oh. There you go. Francois knows how it's going. Uh, I say yes. Daphne Giorgio is all hands. And folks, yes. if you're watching and you don't know, Cammy's got a thing for Bray. That's Episode right. one. <laughs> uh, the ship returns to port. Uh, Zephyr Zadar will approach Zadar since he's the only one that isn't wearing a man suit at this point in time <laughs> and goes, thank God I was almost going to Sisters of Silence. Uh, we were We were trying to get to you before any of this happened. You failed. <laughs> thank you, teenager. Well, well, thank you. <laughs> Francois is feeding you brie. Oh. Have some more brie, my dear. 
Uh, Giorgio <laughs> is using your neck, Daphne, as his own personal tongue lashing device. Uh, so, Zadar, it's all up to you to go ahead and uh, put this all together. Uh, yeah, I, so obviously Zephram Zoram is the head of the crime syndicate here in Cacophony. Uh, so is that who's correct? Zephyr's and, dad? Huh? Who's Zephyr's real father? Zephyr, Zephyr, and I said, you said this is not your father. It's just like, so were you working with him? No, he adopted me. Uh, ah. As a cover. So, yeah. Well, Shouldn't we, like, get on this with some of <laughs> Zephyr, I'm, I'm so sorry that, that you got in the middle of all this. I'm so I sorry I almost got my neck slit. Yeah, we are too. <laughs> you know, so we tried to get to you in time. I no, swear. you didn't. You ran right past me. <laughs> when was that? When we were in line to get on board the ship. We thought we had more time. <laughs> yes. Sorry. Hey, shut up! You're eating brie. Oh, sorry. Daphne's being. I'm just like. Molested. In in case you didn't I'm notice, we kind of had our hands full you. with uh, ninja assassin over here. So. You, know. you mean Cyclops? <laughs> yes, Cyclops. The... You're lucky she didn't get her hands on you, because you were probably next. Well, she's actually my type. She's my type, fine. too. <laughs> the ship moors, and the captain says, could you guys get off? Catchphrase! <laughs> <laughs> We already have. The uh, crowd has gathered, a substantial crowd, uh, including, of course, Mortimer J. Sneed, who has assisted Fauntleroy down there, who has, who's got a big wrap around his head. Uh, it almost looks like a turban because, as we all know, Mortimer does not, have does not medicine. do medicine. Uh, also present is Arawa, uh, the councilman, who is finally on the mend, courtesy of Mortimer J. Sneed. Famunda D's Nuts, who has seen better days. Uh, he's got a black eye, a broken nose, a head wound, and has been kicked to the groin repeatedly. He has seen much better days. Of course, a group of mourning cats has surrounded Eunice, the oh, dead yes. homo lady that Daphne used as a shield. Uh, wow. Uh, the other council members join Arwa as you drag Zoran down the gangplank and demand to know answers. What is going on? Uh, from under these nuts, uh, we'll excuse Daphne's love session and pull the Mistress of Pain onto the dock. Congratulations for killing her. She was not an easy individual. Uh, and you guys did rather well. Yeah, thank. <laughs> hey, uh, heroes die. That's what they do. Uh, mm -hmm. So far, you guys are not dead. Yeah. Uh, so who wants to explain to Arawa and the other members of the council why you have beaten the shit out of one of their members? It seemed like the thing to do at the time. Nice. I'll take a persuasion <laughs> roll at disadvantage for that one. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm eating Brie. She's got a mouthful of Brie. <laughs> Brie's not the name of her lover. <laughs> oh! Nice. Never mind. I was going to make a joke, but I was Like just... she's blowing through Brie? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who, who wants to explain to the council? And there is going to be some persuasion rolls. Okay. Uh, best right. leave that to Zadar. <laughs> uh, I try to connect all the dots. I discuss the the missives that we found over at Alfredo's. Uh, tried to work it's through them, me. but his name Sorry. was implicated. Uh, you know, uh, Zephyr here can can corroborate that this man was not who he was who he was pretending to be. You know that it was all a cover. He even adopted Zephyr as as you know to spin this persona. You know when it, everything that all the evidence that we seem to have points to 
uh, Zofran as the head of the crime syndicate here in Cacophony. Daphne, they ask you. Jazz hands. <laughs> <laughs> so Daphne, if you can peel yourself off Giorgio for a minute, uh, explain to us what the hell's going on. Life is but a fantasy. <laughs> He's living a fantasy life. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's just, um, it's always crazy. It's never black and white. It's always gray. And those who think you could trust or can't trust, you can't trust anyone. Yeah. And how does that explain why you have our associate in ropes? <laughs> With the uh, connecting the dots. You not trust anyone. Like, people can turn on you in a moment. You could be like, yo. I love the color pink. And they're like, no, that's unacceptable. And they turn on you. So you, you did a lot of LDS, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Star Trek reference. Uh, fair. Uh, fortunately, there are two female members of the council, and they too uh, like. And also, eye okay, candy. there's female on the council. I'm like, and you cannot trust men. Oh, nice save. That'll help. Camille, uh, they ask for your account. Well, we believe that he was behind the attack on Arwa. So we've been following him for a while, and then it turns out it appears that he's been in league with this one-eyed monk. And we came here after we found Fauntleroy had been accosted, found our guildmaster in a fight, found him trying to kidnap his daughter, and here we are. So you've mentioned that you have evidence. Who has evidence? Uh, I I produce the the evidence of the poison. Don't you I? Don't poison. I have my? Yeah. yeah. You have the poison. Yeah, and say the the witness that had this was murdered by uh, Pretty Boy Floyd at Alfredo's earlier today. I just see the fettuccine Alfredo, and I'm like, yo, pasta. Yo, pasta. <laughs> I need that fettuccine Alfredo pasta. Daphne has all the letters. Right. Yeah. Daphne has... has no, Daphne missive. does not. Mortimer does. Oh, Mortimer. Mortimer's got them. Yeah. yeah. Morty's got them. Uh, as you recall that, you notice that Mortimer is over by the Mistress of Pain, and he's doing this... Uh, uh, that Daphne threw into her eyeball. Oh, Uh, no. (laughs) The crowd parts, uh, and Gibble and Harris appear. Lovely. Uh, Council members, uh, we believe that we can shed some light on this. Uh, as trusted investigators, the two gnomes are given center stage and begin a soliloquy explaining exactly how they have formulated all of the evidence, most of which garnered by you guys, <laughs> connects the dots appropriately uh, as they found a secret cachet of more information hidden in the wall at Alfredo's. Uh, including a signed missive from Zoran, who is now conscious and angry because he could have gotten away with it had it not been for you damn meddling kids and that crazy cat lady. (laughs) (laughs) Crazy cat lady, it's all her fault. Blame her. We totally need a blink dog as a companion. (laughs) No, we need like a cat or a goat, like something not a dog, like a chicken, like weird. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, a chicken. chicken. Or a goose. Uh, uh, judging from the time, I will keep you in suspense. Uh, come on. Oh, uh, come as on. As the council decides your fate. Really? Uh, as they decide my fate, I take a rest. Yeah, well, we all rest. We all do. <laughs> for Monday, a nice these, long rest. For Monday, these nuts also vouches for you. Uh, as does Mortimer, who has now stopped fucking with the eye baton. Uh, 
all of the information that you have uncovered, including the information that Gibble and Harris have found, are given over to the council for deliberation. They ask that you, Fauntleroy, Sneed, and Dee's Nuts, along with Gibble and Harris, meet with them 9 a.m. sharp in the council chambers tomorrow, a.k.a. next, next week. Next <laughs> week. Uh, and they, at that time, will tell you if the findings are genuine or not. Spoiler alert, uh, half the people you gassed today will also be in attendance. <laughs> I didn't gas them. You fog cloud them. Well, it didn't hurt anybody. It did not hurt anybody. Yeah. Uh, yeah. With that in mind and closing in on the 10 o'clock hour, I'll be at a little bit early. Let's do yeah, final. Kyle, early. <laughs> Let's do final Kyle thoughts. Kyle like, yo, it's almost midnight and some people <laughs> reaching. Kelly <laughs> <laughs> Quinn. Caitlin, what did you think of your big bad fight? You got to use an old lady as a mace. Yeah. yeah like, What'd you think? Anytime I can use anybody else but myself, as my ex would tell me, I like to manipulate people. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to bring that into shit that I need to bring it into. And that's where I am in this realm. Well, you know what? Mr. Mittens is probably looking for new owners, so if you guys want a cat... Yes! Let's bring a cat in! We should! We need our little... Well, the guild probably needs some mouse control. Not what, even uh, a mascot! We need a mascot, because we don't have one. What, uh... The Golden what, Canard. No, that's the city's mascot. Wow. What are you guys going to do with Eunice's body? Well, I figured the cat's an eater. Carve it up. Right there, right, right, right there on the dock. Yeah, carve it up. You and Orgio can bathe in her blood. That's hot, bitches. Uh, that is uh, hot. An uh, anonymous like, source will, will, will pay for her will, burial. For, uh, Daphne, for her burial. George, Giorgio will look at you and go, oh, my little linguini, I think I'm in love with somebody who wants to bathe in the blood of others. I will take I that. Like, Alyssa Bathory, let me be, because there, that's the way I keep my youth. There you go. That's Lady the Bathory. one I was looking for. Uh, I didn't know if you guys knew it. David, what'd you think of the big bad fight? Yeah, I liked it. The big bad fight was good. So I love control spells. It saved our asses. <laughs> I was really hoping one of you would not make the jump onto the ship. because that. Would I be thought it was going to be me, and then I, I you know did the decks and you know being being Superhero a superhero landing mm -hmm. i stuck it <laughs> uh carrie what'd you think it was good i didn't expect the ship to take off that soon but there you are i'm not gonna make it easy on you no. guys ever. no no <laughs> fuck that noise <laughs> uh you guys are here for the challenge uh and i gotta say you were up to the challenge completely. Uh, the Mistress of Pain was not an easy combat. Mm -mm. She managed to hit somebody every freaking round. Mm -hmm. uh, I almost went with darkness or silence on you guys. Uh, and on one of you, I think it was Camille, my stunning strike, uh, I ran out of key points. Whoa! So, yeah, I, yeah, I was going to, that would have sucked. That <laughs> that Stunning strikes. She would have paralyzed you for a round. What are you doing? Yeah, you would have been knocked out. Uh, folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc. Cacophony Soap Opera, and these guys uh, are sitting in the catbird seat. They are not in jail. Uh -huh. And Harris uh, are not being dicks at this time. Uh, and they have actually substantiated the party's claim. Next week, uh, we will wrap up this little mini scenario and see what the world has in store. Hey, do we get to level up next time? Yeah, we better be able to level up. Come on. Hey, fuck you guys, I'm the DM. Four. I was about to say. <laughs> You'll level up when I tell you. You're level up. You know what? You know what? I'm going to become the DM. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start. Frank, a, Frank would love to take a night off. Just, just, just make sure Carol's around so she, I can fucking die. No, no, <laughs> David. I love Carol. That happens. No Carol in this game. 
I have not played a PC that has lived to see the end of the fucking adventure yet because everybody. All right, you know what? Up. I'll run it a game. You know what? I will do it. There you After go. After this ends, I'll talk to you about it more. Did I sound Carol, like Lindsey Graham? We Graham love you. A we, Carol, we love you. We're not throwing shade. So I don't know not- how you do all, everything that you do. Carol, so. I find you adequate, and I think uh, David is Carol throwing needs- you a shitload of shade. Carol I needs to not. work for Wizards of the Coast. Period. That's it. We That's love it. you, Carol. Don't worry about it. <laughs> she can she can go work with Satine, folks. For all of us here <laughs> at uh, Murder Hobo Inc., we appreciate your time. We hope you had a good time. Uh, these guys did. I did. And we hope you did. Uh, remember, if you want to have a seat here and you want to try this out, uh, even if it's just for a one shot, let us know. M Hobo Inc. Either at Twitter or Gmail, we will get you in. In the meantime, please follow us on Twitch, uh, Twitter. Uh, check the YouTube archive if you want to support us by our crap. If not, that's okay. Check out Pirate Dog Dice on Twitter. And, of course, if your game stinks, uh, go to oddfishgames.com. Get yourself some scent packs. Make that shit smell nice. Uh, join us on Saturday. <clears throat> Four newbies are going to be third level in the city. We all know nothing happens in the city, folks. Of For all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., have a great night, and we'll see you on Saturday. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs> and muted.